In the late 1800s, Somerville's population was around 15,000. Water lines and electricity were just being installed. Brick making was the main industry, and the main structure of the existing Somerville High School was built. 143 years later, a lot has changed in the city, but the original high school remains. Reporter Brendan Donahue reports on the progress being made with plans and discussions for a 21st century learning facility. Somerville High School was built in the 19th century and can't keep up with the city's 21st century education needs. A recent community forum updated residents on plans to change that. We've been waiting 143 years for a state-of-the-art school to be rebuilt and reconstructed. So we want to make sure that we put into the building everything that we can that the city can afford that is reasonable, that addresses the needs of education for the next 143 years. The forum, led by former Somerville Superintendent of Schools and current chair of the Somerville High School Building Committee, Tony Pirantazzi, began with a review of the process to date. Um, so when we talk about where the schedule, we want to first kind of touch base on where we've been. Uh, back in January of 2000. 14, the city submitted a statement of interest to the MSBA. Um, that statement, the MSBA reviews it, and this project was selected to be included in the MSBA program. So is the MSBA stands for Massachusetts School Building Authority, the state government group that helps local communities build affordable, efficient, and sustainable public schools. Being selected by MSBA means Somerville gets a base reimbursement of almost 72% of costs, with a maximum of 80% of costs being reimbursed. Now we are in module three, which is the feasibility study. Uh, this module requires that the city go through due diligence in reviewing this site, this building, as well as other sites as they've talked about, to figure out what is the best option uh, for the city. Right now we are focused on Somerville High School as an educational institution. But it's possible that as we develop this spring and down the road into the actual design phase that we add other things to the structure. One of the great needs that I've already mentioned is parking. And the second great need that Alex referenced is play space, field space, and open space. With land at a premium in the city, the question of where to put a new school is central. Possible locations include Trump Field and the Department of Public Works, Foss Park, and the current location on Highland Ave. However, the use of public park space for a school would require the setting aside of new land for public use. And so what we don't want to do is have communities pitting uh, school use versus open space use. Right? These, these uh, should be cohabitable uh, and important uh, components of any healthy community. At the end of the presentation, residents were given a chance to ask questions. Many residents had concerns about ease of public transportation access for students. Let me, let me address that specifically, if I may. The question or the statement is, uh, transportation for students is missing. Well, transportation, other than traffic, hasn't been discussed here. We're looking at parking for staff. The high school is a community center. At the end of this feasibility study in February, a preliminary design program and a preferred schematic report will be submitted to the MSBA. Construction is planned to begin in the summer of 2018 with a finished high school by the fall of 2021. More information can be found at somervillema.gov slash high school. For Somerville Neighborhood News, I'm Brendan Donahue. The current high school serves approximately 1,200 students in grades 9 through 12. It is anticipated that the new high school will be designed for an enrollment number closer to 1,600 students.